Hi, in this video I will show how to use XLS to JSON converting app. XLS is old Excel format, you can see it on my screen. Um, open document, it's a Excel mobile, it's not Excel, but it's showing XLS file which contains three spreadsheets underneath it. And basically it's uh, data tables with first column being like name, a few with first row being name of the columns, like first name, last name, middle name, and title, organization, and everything is like a, like a table. And a second spreadsheet, I have a banking for just a, some test data, and third spreadsheet is also bank data. So basically I want to convert entire spreadsheet into JSON. JSON is JavaScript object notation format, which uh, in which data represent in JavaScript for uh, if I want, for example, build websites that accessing this data, I can have a JSON file and I can embed it JSON file into my application and use it or into my website and use it on, on a website. So in order to, uh, I will use my app uh, to convert um, this uh, Excel spreadsheets into a um, JSON file and uh, for this, I will go to my website, click on search, and type um, XLS to JSON. Then click on app page to open it. Click on download button to start downloading process and wait until file will be downloaded from Google Cloud. Then click on downloaded file. Click on, double click on the MSI inside file and click on more info here. I'm getting the screen from Windows because I'm not registered publisher with Microsoft. You can see publisher unknown. I'll just click run anyway to start installation. Click on next, next install. Click on yes here and click on finish. And you can see app has been installed on my computer. I have a new shortcut on my desktop. Now I can close everything. and double click on shortcut to launch app. Now, conversion is three steps process. On the first step, I have to select an uh, XLS file I show you. So this is my data XLS, this one. Click open. Our next step is conversion options. Here is just one option. If my first row contains a um, column name, I should leave it as a check. As you can see uh, previously, our spreadsheets all have a first row with column names. And um, if I leave it checked, it will be easier for me to access JSON data um, by name of the row rather than just column 1 or column 2 or column 3. I don't have to remember that, for example, like column 10 is address. I will just access it like my data dot. Uh, record number dot and my address and I got like uh, an address field right away. So I will leave it check, click on next step. Here I can preview JSON, I can click on preview and it will show me data the way it will be organized or I can click save result and uh, it will ask me for name of the file and location. I will name it my data JSON and uh, documents is okay save and you can see file has been saved and um, Mozilla Firefox is had the way to show these files with uh, this very structural way so I'm going to use it to show you what exactly has been created up d during the conversion so I'll just grab my data JSON we created and drop it into Mozilla and you can see that it has um, all spreadsheets is into separate structures and then my contacts has all all, uh, all records from my contact spreadsheets are here and you can see that column names has been used from first row and I can access column names as uh, they are like um, field names into this JSON structure and I can I can accept them and like all three spreadsheets 
banking for as well. And then data. Everything has been converted. So, yeah, that's it. Um, we got, uh, we converted our XLS file into JSON and we got our data here. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you.